was HollywoodRadioFrance.com. So today my special guest is uh, Onye Kamuelo, and remember I've, uh, I've interviewed him before, and um, you're welcome to the show again. Thank you, Chief, Chief, Chief Super. <laughs> I'm flattered, I'm really flattered. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Onyeka, you, you are here today for the uh, second edition of uh, Nollywood Week Film Festival. Now, what's your general impression as a filmmaker? Uh, my general impression about the festival? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think... Uh, with, with the little support Serge and, the, and his team have, they've improved very well. And this is a, a good thing. At least we have a, a, more like a contingent of Nigerian filmmakers from Nigeria who came in the same day and it's more like a pilgrimage now. The Nigerian filmmakers who come to France every year to um, celebrate Hollywood and and, and this is done by a non-Nigerian, which is very impressive. And it's something that we should all support. And I mean, my impression about it is that it's, it's an amazing festival, a gathering of the most artistic minds from Nigeria, one of the, some of the best, because the films that are showing are actually some of the best films made by Nigerians in Nigeria. And elsewhere. And then, how many movies have you watched uh, since, since Thursday? Uh, I, I think most of the films I've actually seen them like Flower Girl I've seen Flower Girls like four times The Meeting four times um, I have for Yellow Sun I went for the premiere in Lagos but I didn't see the complete film uh, but uh, I'm, I'm going to see it today which is the final day and also Miss Feet um, Journey to Self I mean I, I must and uh, there's some of the filmmakers are my friends so I've seen the films and uh, I really, really respect them a lot for their uh, diligence. They work hard. Okay, just one difficult question. I know they are all your friends, and you're a filmmaker also. You're also a writer. Now, tell us the one you prefer. Mm -hmm. Is that not difficult? And then it's not difficult. It's not difficult. Uh, I'm, I, and I don't do favoritism. So I would say, for me, among all the films, the meeting ranks high for me because the same way the meeting is written is, is the way I write as a writer I do not like to have a central character in any story that I write so I the meeting has a lot of characters and the, the story is centered on almost all of them so sometimes you think uh, uh, Femi Jacobs is playing the, uh, the, the lead role and then you figure that it's Richard Dominic and then you figure it's uh, uh, Linda Ejiofor for so these this is the kind of story that in, interests me. It's all about Nigeria. It's all about Nigerians. It's about our society. And the establishment shots of the film is actually uh, what uh, ignites the love you have for cinema. So how many stars is between us? Keep our secret secret, even if our listeners are listening. Now, how many stars are you going to give to this movie you said you love and then before we go to the, the, that you like before we go to the second one? Uh, over five, I'll give the meeting four over five. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you want me to grade the other films? Yes. Um, uh, like I said, the meeting ranks high, so the others should fall below uh, the meeting. So, <laughs> <laughs> now, not to degenerate what the filmmakers are making. They're actually making Your great films. Choice. Your second choice. My second choice should be. Oh, it's going to be difficult now, but I, I think. Let me help you, flower, flower girl. No, no, flower girl is not my second choice. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not my second choice. My second choice. Self. I think my second choice is a monopolist film, actually. Although it has its flaws, which she she uh, tested to, yeah. but then. Miss Elliot. Is yeah, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it has its flaws, but then it's a story that uh, raises discussion about artistry, about mastery of art, about uh, cinematography, about storytelling. So it's a story that that people watch and then they start, they start discussing it. So it, 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 it raises questions, it raises discussion. So that's the kind of film that we need to start making. Is it good? Is it bad? Yes. These are the things that we need to discuss when we watch films. Now, let's talk about your own movie because I know you went to Nigeria to shoot a movie and again, you already shot one before. So, how far have you gone in, 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 in all these projects? 
Yeah, I, I, each time I'm working on any project, I, I do a lot of things simultaneously. So while I was doing that, I was also uh, doing other... I have another project in Liberia, which I went to Liberia the May, May 3rd, 4th. I went to Liberia May 4th. And then I came in from Hong Kong where I went to teach at the University of Hong Kong. Right, where I am, I am a visiting lecturer at the University of Hong Kong. So I came in and then I went there. So all these projects are all in a, uh, what I call preparatory stages. Okay. I'm still working to release them. Okay. And then on the 15th, I'm going to Mexico. Okay. Uh, where we're also discussing issue, uh, stuff about filmmaking as well. So lots of those will stop, but the films are going to be out very soon, although they take time. Uh, because the short film I made, uh, it doesn't look like a real work of art, so I decided not to make it public, but then I need to improve in everything. I, I'm, I think I'm one of the most amateurish artists in the world, so I need to really, really work on my art properly to bring out the best. Now we're going to finish up this interview with your last book, poem, poems you uh, wrote, which I've just seen it. And, um, I had the privilege to read the uh, first. Um, yeah, the yeah that, that's the manuscript. So, um, can you just tell our listeners uh, where they can get the book and what is what is it all about? What prompted you to write a series of poems about your life? Some personal, some not personal, I guess. So tell us more about this book and what's the name? Uh, bon Bond is the title of the collection of verses I have. Uh, they're more like a narrative in verse, which are very uh, um, uh, uh, kind of... Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not poetic. It's, it's not poetic. It's just... a. a, a a narrative more like a, if in a prose form it's yeah, in a prose, prose form prose. But, but in a, in a verse okay. so um, they, they, they tell stories about my journeys around Europe some of the best cities I've visited in Europe and also when my father read it um, uh, three weeks ago he called me and he started weeping on the phone he said nah I didn't know this all the things you've been through in life and I said well you wouldn't know till you, you read them so he, he cried for for a long time on the phone, and I, I felt uh, he didn't expect me to go through all this because it's been long. I asked my, my parents for help or for anything. So my father sees me as a uh, um, a child who can survive anywhere in the world. Yeah. So th this th this collection tells of my experiences in the world. I won the press class fund last year, yeah. which enabled me to travel to Uganda and a lot of places. So I. It's a chronicle of, of all my experiences. And you can get the book in Lagos at Terracocho, <coughs> Freedom Park, a lot of bookshops in Lagos, and Abuja, Jakaranda, uh, Salamander, sorry, Salamander Cafe. Okay. In Paris, uh, I, there, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, on sale at Nollywood Week Paris. But then after the festival, it should be also available in some places. And then Amazon, you don't have... Uh, we, we, no, for now, I, I think I'm more interested in the print. Let me okay. sell the book and collect the money myself okay. and keep it. Because okay. I'll be seeing book which sold on Amazon. I, I don't know how they sell, the, the payment is made. I don't okay. even know who is collecting the money. So it's ridiculous <coughs> how we people buy stuff online and then the, the, the author doesn't get anything. So I don't know how how Amazon works. Maybe my publisher knows about it, but yeah. I, I don't think I know. So I want to I want to be commercially in control of this. Good. Now, I saw you on Facebook, a uh, t-shirt written, the Baron of Paris. Black Baron of Paris. Black Baron of Paris. Yeah. How weird. Tell us where that came from, Black Baron of Paris. Uh, I, I, I think uh, I am obsessed with myself. I'm very narcissistic. <coughs> And a lot of people are, but nobody, uh, most people don't agree to, they don't accept that about themselves. And I like making fun of my own intelligence. I like making fun of myself. I like seeing myself as unserious because I know that I'm not serious. But the truth is, if you don't like yourself, 
nobody will like you. If you don't validate yourself, nobody will validate you. Right. And I'm not going to wait for anybody to call me a chief or a black baron first. Yeah, I have yeah. to call myself. Yeah. I need to tell the world what I am. Good. I need to, for, for the world to accept you, you need to tell them how serious you take yourself. Good. For people who don't, who feel, uh, let me wait, so let's say they can see the good in me. No, you have to tell the world what good you have in you before they can see that. It's like a mirror. You have to look at yourself in the mirror first. Yeah. And nobody's going to tell you how you look. You have to look at yourself first and say and tell people, this is how I look. And you have to accept yourself. That's what I've done. Yeah. So the Black Baron of Paris is more like telling the world, I am okay. I don't need anybody's validation as long as I can validate myself. And it's, it's just a parody. It's nothing serious. Yeah. And that's a brand name also. Yeah, for me now, I mean, everybody sees me and say Black Baron of Paris. I feel cool. I know they go and laugh and say, what does he have to be a, a baron? You don't, have any, you don't have to have anything to be a baron. You can just be a baron in your imagination. You can be, and what I mean by being a baron is being independent. Yeah. Being yeah. solely in charge of your career, your yeah. life and everything. And being creatively minded that in, in this world where we live, if you do not project yourself well, nobody's going to do that for you. That's what I keep telling Nigerian artists that I work with, who wait for, who are always looking for publicists. And I tell them, is the publicist famous? If the publicist is going to make you popular, why is he not popular? So this, these are the questions I, I need to, I've, I've, I like to talk about myself. Yeah, I like to talk about myself. That's why I've, I created that, that alter ego, the Black Baron of Paris. Uh, I went to Hong Kong University to teach about Africa and I thought about myself, so that's me. So I'm not apologetic about it, actually. You, you shouldn't be. So, um, could you please give our listeners again your name and um, tell us more about you, uh, some, some of them that don't know you because we have already published okay. um, an audio on you. So tell us again about yourself. My name is Onye Kamwelue. I was born in a village in Imo State called Ezokensu and I grew up there. And at the age of 16, after I finished secondary school, I left for India. And uh, I have written a book called The Abyssinian Boy and another one called Bond. And I've made a film called The Beginning of Everything Colorful, which is a short film. Not like everybody has seen it, but a few people have seen it. And then I'm also a visiting lecturer at the uh, University of Hong Kong. I teach in the uh, School of Modern Languages and Cultures. Uh, where I teach the Africa uh, and um, China relations and uh, I've just been appointed uh, a, a professor of African studies at uh, Instituto de Amici, a small college in uh, Puebla in Mexico. Uh, I'm going to start teaching there from July, but I'm going there this June. So it's been, it's been very difficult, really, as a young person trying to survive. Sometimes you have to do everything free, but I'm really happy. I'm really happy. At least if I die, I, I'm sure I've, I've achieved my, all my dreams of going to all the countries I've ever dreamed of going to. Thank you very much for joining our show, and um, wish you the best. Bye-bye. Okay. So Thank you very much. Thank you.